everyone welcome back to my channel tutorial is a guide to learner here this is tripona i hope all of you are doing good in my last session on education we had already discussed one of the most interesting chapter that is communication and you all know that communication is a significant part of nta ugc net paper 1 okay so around 5 to 6 questions based on this topic finds place in each year's question paper. So that's why it is one of the most important paper. And we have already discussed uh, in my previous session. So if you have missed my previous session on communication, so please go and check my first comment and my description box where all previous sessions uh, link are available. Okay. Uh, so today we are going to explain uh, or discuss some MCQs, some important MCQs on communication. So let's move on to the next slide. So learner, here we can see our first question that is many people have to the hobby of recording the good and bad happenings of the day in a diary and this is an example of there are four options as usual. So the first option is intrapersonal communication. Second option is interpersonal communication. Third option is mass communication. And the fourth option that is extrapersonal communication. So the correct answer for this question that is intrapersonal communication. Basically, intrapersonal communication takes place when a person communicates with himself. And here we can see people have to the hobby of recording good and bad happenings of the day in a diary. So that's why it identifies a communication with himself or herself also. So that's why uh, option number A is the correct answer. Intrapersonal communication. Now going to the second question. Which of the following signifies the meaning receiver has interpreted from message so now i'm going to the next slide where we can see uh, four options so the first option that is face expression the second option that is feedback for third option that is coding and the fourth option that is decoding so the appropriate answer that is feedback okay so what is the question so which of the following signifies the meaning receiver has interpreted from message obviously feedback only one option that is feedback signifies the meaning receiver has interpreted from message so now move on to the third question so the third question that is just bring Uh, so, which of the following will make communication more effective? So, first option cracking jokes in between. Second option using multisensory apple. Third option speaking with high authority. And the fourth option telling what is useful to the listeners. So, obviously we all know that uh, cracking jokes in between. Speaking with high authority, telling what is useful to the listeners are not uh, useful for effective communication way, are not useful ways for effective communication. So that's why the option number B, useful multisensory apple is the correct answer and it will make communication more effective and it is one of the best way for effective communication. Okay, so now move on to the next slide. And the fourth question that is communication in the class fails because the first option, uh, the students are inattentive. That's why communication process fails in the class. Second option is the teacher is monotonous in delivering the messages. Third option, the student have no interest in the lesson being taught. And the last option that is, there is much noise in and around the classroom. So, communication process fails in the class because uh, one of the most appropriate answer for this particular question that is option number B. 
the teacher is monotonous in delivering the message in the classroom okay so that's why communication fails in the class so now move on to the fifth fifth question sorry so the fifth question is the psychological aspects of the classroom are best managed by class teacher subject teacher principal and the students themselves obviously class teacher basically uh, more class teacher is mostly related to the particular classroom so that's why the psychological aspects of the students uh, are best managed by the class teacher not the subject teacher principal and the students so that's why option number a the class teacher is the correct answer now going to the sixth question on the occasion of diwali uh, employees of a company arranged for a get together interaction between them at the event will be that is uh, formal communication now going to the next option that is informal communication didactic co communication and public communication and we all know that uh, in diwali uh, any communication in and um, get together so it identifies the informal communication not formal not didactic and not public communication we have already discussed the type different types of communication so if you have missed my previous session so please go and check my description box and my first comment where the previous session link is already available okay so now going to the next question which of the following is correct about the components of the communication okay not the process not the uh, uh, not, not the uh, sequence okay so basically this question is uh, related to the components of communication so the first option sender channel context receiver feedback second option symbol understanding receiver response uh one minute learner sender message channel receiver feedback and the fourth option that is uh, one minute okay so learner uh this is an incomplete question and we need one more option for getting appropriate answer for this question so that's why we skip it okay so now move on to the next question in the next slide so the next question that is uh, classroom communication is the basis of social identity external inanities third option biased passivity and the fourth option group aggression aggression sorry so obviously classroom communication uh, we all know that communication has social context so that's why classroom communication is the basis of social identity not the external inanities bias passivity and the group aggression so option number a is the correct answer now move on to the next question in communication the language is the verbal code intrapersonal symbolic code and non verbal code so uh, we all know that language basically a verbal code so in communication the language is the verbal code and option number a is the correct answer so now going to the next question uh, here we can see our last question for this session so that is uh, uh, sorry fill in the blanks basically dash is important when a teacher communicates with his or her students sympathy empathy apathy or antipathy so we all know that empathy is the correct answer so option number b is the correct answer basically empathy is one of the important thing when a teacher communicates with his or her students in the classroom not the sympathy apathy or antipathy okay so i think this is clear to everyone we haven't discussed the topic in detail because in my channel each and every topic is very well discussed if any of you are missing 
then please go and check my first comment and my description box. So learner, we are done for the today's session. I hope this session will be very, very useful to everyone. If you like my session, do not forget to like, share, comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful sessions and please press the bell button for getting notification from my site as soon as possible. I will come again with a new session. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you to all of you. Happy learning. Keep commenting.